This is a Long Beach. This is a new video into us. Long Beach, and you can see there's those dunes that they pushed out that got washed away. But watch here, though. You see the structure on your right. That's the lifeguard sec uh, station. And what happened here, uh, as John Vigliotti reported, the, the force of the oh, storm surge just moved that right in to the boardwalk itself. In fact, Jonathan says it actually caused some damage to the boardwalk. That entire structure literally picked up and moved in one piece, and you see it there. That was the end of it. And afterwards, the Today Show's Al Roker talked to some of the lifeguards who were there. Yeah, good morning, Matt. This is Paul Gillespie. He's the chief of the lifeguards in charge of that building. And uh, we watched it uh, just wash off its foundation. It's, you know what? There's a tremendous amount of good things that went on in that building. I hate to see it go like this. You know, a lot of history. And, and, and your word, it's, uh, do you think you'll be able to save it? Uh, I don't know. This happened uh, way back in the uh, the 80s when we had a, a hurricane here and it floated down to Magnolia Boulevard. Then they brought it back and set it back at its foundation. So if it stays like that, we might have a chance yeah, well, to what, save it. What kind of, what other damage have you heard about, uh, Paul? Uh, basically, it's a lot of flooding, heavy wind. Uh, I was driving around the uh, the streets here. A lot of the roads are impassable, you know. Uh -huh. So uh, uh, we're just going to uh, hopefully this will stay up here and we can salvage it because we're just at the last week of the summer here. Yeah, it's very yeah. ironic. Oh, God. Have you ever seen it this bad before? Uh, I, I was just saying before, that I think it reminded me, 85, uh, when Gloria was here, it was just like this. It was very bad. Uh, you can see the border, the water's going under the boardwalk here and into the streets. I haven't seen Broadway like this ever. Really? Yes, this is, uh, the bay could meet the ocean today. That's a possibility. You never thought you'd see the ocean on Broadway. Right. <laughs> All right. Well, I know you want to get down there and take a look at the damage. Chief, thanks so Thank much. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. And, and Matt, that it gives you an idea. We're, we're just about a little bit past high tide right now, and the water is just rushing out. And it's making its way into the in, into this uh, vacant lot, and then moving on. And it looks like it, there's some homes across the way, uh, a, a row of homes across the way. And it looks like they're getting some flooding now because there's a lot of water in front of their their garage. So uh, there, there's going to be some problems. Oh, you can see it right there. It's really coming through now. The water is breaching, and we're getting. Uh, uh, we're getting a lot of activity as far as flooding is concerned uh, here at Long Beach. Uh, the, the good news is uh, uh, we don't seem to be, uh, the, the rain here at least isn't so bad. In fact, it's probably a little worse as you move inland. We're looking for anywhere from 10 to 15 inches of rain. Uh, this is the wettest month ever in the history of New York City. 17.3 inches of rain. Uh, and, and it looks like uh, that breaks the record in September of 1882. We've got mudslides along the New York Thruway. Uh, there are river flood warnings throughout Connecticut, Massachusetts, New York, New Jersey, uh, Rhode Island. So, uh, again, as this system makes its way up, we're expecting the center of the storm over New York in about 9.30. So that's a little bit less than an hour and a half from now. Uh, in the meantime, though, the storm surge continues to push in. High tide starting to make its way into the lower harbor of New York and then later on into Connecticut. So we're not quite out of the woods yet. And then once the system moves to the north, all the north-facing beaches along the north shore of Long Island, the bays, and uh, uh, Long Island Sound, they're going to have to be dealing with this as well, Matt.